gospel singer Ja'Kalen Carr is getting ready to let you know it is your winning season going down on June 23rd and 24th. Miss Ja'Kalen Carr is going to her host her two day You Will Win conference. It is happening right here in Atlanta. Ja'Kalen is joining me right now to talk more about the conference and what we can expect. We are halfway through the year, Ja'Kalen, yes. and I feel like we need that boost. Of course. We ride off high mm -hmm. on January 1st. Here mm -hmm. we are and saying, okay, let's check in. Where are we with mm -hmm. winning? this season and winning our goals. You know, the thing about it is we have to make sure we're intentional about our winning season, you know, and just not, like you said, going off the hype of things, but making sure that we're applying the right information, which is why I have my conference. Um, this is my first year back live. My last one was in Orlando in 2019 before the pandemic. And so now bringing it to Atlanta just to make sure that we all understand our God given identity and what it is that he wants for us and that's for us to win in every area of our lives. And I think it's so cool that you're having this in a place like Atlanta. People are here, you know, pursuing their dreams and their passions and it can mm -hmm. be kind of daunting when mm -hmm. you get no's yeah. or when you feel like you have setbacks. What can people expect from the conference to just get that boost and the resources they need to keep going? Yeah, I like to use the word activation. I like to use the word elevation. A lot of times, as you said, we're working on our dreams and goals and sometimes we can get discouraged. And so we have people like myself um, and so many guests that are going to come in that you can relate to uh, business owners, uh, people in the music arena, comedian Lil Rev, Pastor Mike. Just, I mean, so many people that's going to kind of give you that push that you need to make sure you don't give up where you are, but you can continue to go after your goals and what you desire to do and be in life. And you talked about having the last live conference before the pandemic. Our lives have changed so much since then. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you and anticipate just the expectation that you have going into bringing the live conference back yeah. in Atlanta. I am expecting to see so many people understand um, that it is God's will for us to grow, for us to succeed, for us to thrive in life. And so many people feel like they can't. So many people feel like it's impossible for them. And then you have people who are already th thriving who just want that extra push. And that's what I'm expecting to see. Um, I have so many people that are coming in like people telling me they're traveling from all across the world, even young people, uh, because we have something for everybody. We're going to be talk, tell, teaching you about winning in the marketplace, winning in business, winning in faith, health, so many of these things, um, because again, I believe that it's going to really push a lot of people. So that's what I'm really expecting. And so we are also celebrating some of your wins as well. You've been doing this since you were, I mean, yay high. Mm -hmm. And it is so important for people to see that even when you have the longevity, mm -hmm. there are still highs and lows to it too. Mm -hmm. So talk about the times where you had to, you know, sort of get back up and stay on this journey yeah. as a pastor, as a singer songwriter, you know, just as a minister who is, you know, trying to stay forward facing, keep the people going, yeah. but it's not always that way. Yeah, you know, I tell people all the time, it doesn't matter what your profession is, no one is exempt from challenges. We all have to face them, why? Because they pull the best out of us. They take us to the next level. It's just all about you making the choice to get up again. Um, you know, I try to be realistic with myself even when I do face challenges. And I also try to tell myself, okay, Ja'Kalen, <laughs> you've had your moment. <laughs> now it's time for you to get up and to prosper and to win in life because you have to be careful. Um, if you let it, your challenge will begin to overcome you when yeah. it's supposed to be the other way around. So yeah, I just have to tell myself, listen, Get up. <laughs> get up and keep going. And keep going. I, and it's so hard to do, but once you get that message in your heart and yes. you just, you know, make it happen. Exactly. You have continued to make it happen. So tell us about the, some new music you got. Yeah, so um, a few months ago, I released a new song called I Believe God. Um, just really hitting on things that, you know, people feel like it's impossible to happen or maybe you have been believing God for a long time and it seemed like nothing is happening. You got to understand that God said what he said and he's going to do 
exactly what he said. And with that being said, just putting in the atmosphere what we believe God for um, and just telling people, I'm believing God with you. We don't have to believe him alone. And then, of course, some more new music is coming as well. So I'm in the studio now. I'm excited about it. We are so looking forward to it. And tell us more about where we can register for the conference or to learn more information. Yes, you can register for the conference, all panels and sessions at youwillwin.org. Again, it's youwillwin.org. And then all the nightly services are free. We have our closeout concert, which features, of course, myself, Pastor Mike Jr., Dr. Charles Jenkins, Brie Babineau, my African sister, Deborah Lukalu. So many of us, it's going to be really great. So you get those tickets from youwillwin.org as well. All right, looking forward to it. We wish you the best of luck and thank you for bringing us a little morning inspiration. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Stay with us. We'll be right back.